Good morning, Summit. This is Edward. You know this guy, Jake. This is your weekly update. Make sure you post this on all your platforms. If you're not going to do that, at least talk about what's happening because, Jake, there's a lot happening. I brought my own cup of coffee this morning. I even had a cup waiting on him. Two I weeks ago. I him breakfast this morning. You did not make me coffee last week. You made me a two-ounce coffee. So That was I a said, Keurig. See, the Keurig. If you want makes, stuff done right, the Keurig, do it yourself. The Keurig makes a decision on who's deserving of a full cup and not. I had nothing to do with this. It's all my Keurig. One of those smart Keurigs, like a smart TV. Hey, lots happening this week. Lots happening in our uh, ministry right now. In fact, I'm going to be saying something at the end of this, so stick with us all the way to the end. Last night was incredible, I heard. Both youth ministry and our children's ministry, they met for the first time last night with our kids. Uh, that was K through second grade. This coming Wednesday, they're going to be uh, doing, let's say, third, third through the through fifth. fifth. Third through the fifth. So if you have a third fourth or fifth grader get them there on wednesday night six o'clock it's incredible danielle came home last night she was just so excited about just what's happening in our kids ministry. you know what else is incredible what's that dude repentance you talked a little bit about it sunday i don't know if you remember or not i don't know if you listen to your own sermons but you talked about repentance is the changing of the mind inspired me to wear my metanoia shirt metanoia, metanoia. the chain you know a change of mind that leads to a change in action. action hey we also on october the 2nd we're going to be doing a baby dedication uh if you have a child that you want to dedicate this is not salvation this is not like other traditions uh we're just dedicating to raise that baby in a godly way and to serve jesus Edward, and follow jesus i'd kind of i'd like to nominate you for that dedication if it'd be all right I think it's more of a baby thing. But anyway, get signed up for that. Get in touch with Kristen. We'll get you uh, all, all signed up in that. It's, it's kind of cool. Lots of momentum in our kids' ministry right now. Uh, so if, if you're interested in that, uh, get, get that. Uh, get, get to Kristen. Y'all quit it. Quit it. What else you got? Grief support will meet this Sunday after church in the Generations Auditorium. Jenny and Tomasa and her grief team would love for you to join them if you want to be a part of that. Uh, you can just sit and let those uh, grief ministers Man, that's so important. love on you, and you really don't have to share anything if you don't want to. They'll feed you, and uh, it, it's a really good deal. Also, still promoting small groups, still getting people plugged into small groups. This Sunday after church in room A101, We've got a, a new small group that myself and two other couples, uh, the Browns and the Spurlins, uh, we're going to be leading. Already got some people signed up for it. This group's sole purpose is for people to meet new people. We'll study the Red Letter uh, sermon series that Edward's been preaching. We're, uh, we're going to eat. We'll have some finger foods and stuff like that. But then the goal is for us to get to know each other and then birth new small groups out of that. So our first meeting is this Sunday you don't even have to sign up. You can just join in, but send me an email if you want or call me at the church office. love to be able to talk to you about it. It's interesting. You, you use that it's word awesome. birth. Uh, birth is both painful and beautiful. And, and sometimes we get so attached to our groups that we don't want to birth, that we don't want to start a new group. Listen, if we don't start new groups, then we can't get new people in groups. And so it's so important, yeah. Jake. I appreciate you using that word oh, yeah. because it, it's important for us to remember. I don't know nothing about birthing no babies, but no, I, I can don't do either. small I don't group. Either. I, don't I either. can birth a small but group. Listen, I would even say this. If you're in a group presently and you're feeling a tugging of your heart to lead a small group, that God's maybe calling you, get with Jake. I think that would yeah. be a cool deal because we've got people yeah. that want to be in small groups. And part of what we're doing on this Sunday after church is we're we're kind of teaching you what it looks like to be a small group leader. You don't have to be one, yeah. but it's a cool yeah. deal. It's also, awesome. want to remind you too, if you've not gotten in service yet or you're looking for a place to serve, get with Jake. Uh, and we'd love to get you connected. Uh, I've heard over and over again about our church. You go there. They're going to put you to work. Uh, uh, and it's not work. It's just that we get to. We get to serve. And so if you're looking for that place, get with Jake this week, uh, and, and he'll get you signed up. Also, we have our golf tournament yep. registration going on right yep. now. Yep. Uh, youth yep. fundraiser on October the 8th at Pine Springs. Uh, they're going to be uh, – it's, it's going to be a great day. Uh, putting teams together. Uh, four-man scramble, four-person yep. scramble. Four person, you got a kid, you go. a teen, a, yep. uh, whatever. Yep. So make sure you get a register for that. We'll have a uh, registration at the uh, info, desk. info desk this Sunday for you guys that don't go online. 
Uh, there's some that don't go online, Jake. So if you want to do the old school handwritten, that would be great. Now, Jake, you remember last week at the end of the video, I no. said there was going to be a big announcement. I do not remember. You that. don't remember that? Mm -hmm. Got some big. I, I, so I, mean, I want to say this to you. I, I really believe, and, I, and I'm, I'm speaking forth to you today, that I believe God's up to something at Summit. I really, really do. That's there, the announcement. We talked there's about that been, all the time. There's been an incredible momentum over the last few weeks, and, and I just believe that God's getting ready to do something huge. I really do uh, in our church. It's just a, a sense of excitement, a sense of expectation. So here's what I want to do. For the last probably seven or eight years, I've had a group of people that would come and pray over me uh, at 9.30. Uh, I want to invite you, you prayer warriors, to join us this Sunday, starting this Sunday in A101 at 9 a.m. for a time of prayer, praying specifically for our service, praying specifically for the people that we're going to walk in our doors, praying specifically for healing, for restoration, for salvation, for anointing that, that God's Spirit would flood this place. It's not going to be a time we get in there and visit. We're, going to, we're not going to give prayer requests. We're going to pray. We're going to hunker down and we're going to pray. Uh, and then at 945, the worship team and, and myself, we will come in. We'll have a final prayer for preparation to go out. I want to invite you this Sunday at 9 a.m. It's a come and go thing. It, we're going to pray all during that time that God's going to move big in our services. Jake, I am so that excited, excited about that. That's a big I, announcement. I'm telling you, we're, I believe we're going to That's see... That's a big, hairy, audacious announcement. Uh, it is. I, I think we're going to see marriages saved. We're going to see healings. We're going to see restorations. We're going to see salvations. We're going to see things we've not seen. We're going to see repentance. Well, that man's uh, uh, We're going to see things happen that we've probably never seen before. Uh, so I invite you to come this Sunday, starting this Sunday at 9 a.m. I've not told anybody else about this. One other person knows that I'm, I'm, I'm inviting you guys to this. So get the word out for those prayer warriors that may not watch this. I may not be technically watching these things. Um, Nobody watches these updates. 9 a.m. Sunday morning, we're going to pray. And I believe sure. God's fixing to do some incredible things at Summit Heights Fellowship. Uh, Jake, what else do we have? Oh, that's cool. I Man, you got me seeing things we've never seen before. You and know what I've never seen before? What's that? I've never seen Texas win a big football game. That'd be... Dude, Texas has a winning record against Alabama. Yeah, it'd be interesting to They're see like that the only Saturday team, morning. big yeah. power five team that has yeah. that record over Alabama. You know, there's people in their 20s that have never seen the Cowboys win a Super Bowl. So... I mean, true. not to say that we'll be praying that for these true. things on the Sunday morning. That is true. That Same. is true. Talking so. about things we've never seen before. Hey, let's wrap this thing up. Could you at the end of this? We got sirens going, dogs fighting, my neighbor's weed eating across the street. Still have coffee, coffee left. Coffee. I've got coffee. So, I mean, we love you. Cannot wait to see you Sunday. I believe exciting things are going to happen. We're going to continue our series in the red letters. Uh, we're going to look at what Jesus said to us, and I, so I'm excited about that. I love you. You got anything else, bro? Nope. I'll ease up here. Turn this camera off. Y'all share this on all your platforms.